Hello everybody, here is Pelodas and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this cut effect. And it's pretty simple, so let's get started. So here is my animation, but the cut effect is still missing as you can see. And how to add it is really simple. So we are right the Rory character and of the insectoid we are duplicate the armature and the body mesh. We place it in a different collection, in this case in the second half collection I created here and we are um, hide the main crawler mesh. We disable the armature modifier and add a plane. So in edit mode I now place it roughly on the location where I want to cut through. Also I add a solidify modifier. And to have a none, even thickness, I select the edge here and give it a vertex group. So now I can here select the vertex group, give a factor of 0 0.1 to have this uneven uh, cut through. Also, probably a factor of 0.2 is better, but quickly let me change this because uh, we now add a boolean modifier. So I have boot tool, it's a blender extension. I link it in the description. I first select the plane, then the body, and with Ctrl Shift B I can boolean difference. So now here's our plane and we can add it afterwards. If you don't have the boolean extension, you can just simply add the boolean modifier and select the plane as object and you get the same results. Of course with difference. So now I can adjust the plane. I can also here change the factor. But not makes that big matter if you do it in object or edit mode <clears throat> and if you are happy with the result you can click on the mesh and click apply also we can now delete the plane and the bully cutters collection and if we now turn on the rig modifier you can see that here the cut through part is not weighted and um, to fix it we are simply activate the deform layer for the armature so where the bounds are with the deform option on to deform the mesh we'll then select the mesh and go to weight paint so um, also now I select the torso. Wait, I don't want to paint mask. So I select the torso. Go into edit mode. And in face selection I select this one. Press assign. Also for the other half assign. So and this fix it most. So we, we don't really need it perfect. We um, yeah need it for the part where he gets cut it and not for the all the way before. That's why we also duplicate the mesh of course. Now uh, I can disable the deform bone collection and you know I go in edit mode, select one half with the L button and Alt E P. 
just P, selection to separate them. Now we have the upper half and the lower half. Also I have a subdivision surface modifier, so if I disable simplify, you see that it looks actually not that bad. Mm. I select the face and would like to add it uh, on a material blender. And that's this flash material. So, yeah, it looks a bit annoying. We could may work with that. If you don't want it this way, you should make an edge crease on it. It's a li little bit laggy of, of the, the subdivision surface. So you, you can use the edge crease to fix that if you want. I am currently not sure. I do the same here with the material. So, and the material of the flash is pretty simple with two noise modifiers. Here is a color ramp with two colors. And going into a hue and the bump map, it's pretty simple. You can just rebuild it and if I get to render blue it. it. Looks like that. I would uh, shade smooth the face. And also the same here. Face, shade smooth. And we have not a free choice if we keep it like that or I, I just enable simplify it makes more easier and the performance is not into the ground or we call it use it also like this so that's of course it's uh, just the simplified variant you can of course add it the way you want so that's just how to show how I made the cut animation okay so now we um, will select the lower body half and change the rig from the yeah, second created rig to the main rig because I want the rig duplicate just mostly influence the, the upper half in pose mode. So, um, I activate the Rory collection and looking for exactly this frame on this next frame and um, this mesh should appear and the clean mesh should disappear. That's really simple. We are selecting the mesh, go to the object properties and keyframe the visibility from show in viewports and render. If we go a frame back, then we disable these both checkboxes and keyframe them again. The same for the for the half with the head. Now I activate the main body and make it the other way. So on this point, the mesh is there, this frame, it appears. And we have to switch between clean body and cut it body. So, now, this is the lower half 
and the other rig is the upper of Alcold also selected here. And now I add here another animation. I go into my an editor where I have my animation stored. I can get rid of this one. Go here. And you see, um, yeah, that's the, the body half action. But I want to add the head half action. So that we now have the cut animation. So of course you need to animate it separately at the point where it gets cutted. So now we have a little other problem. The teeth and the tongue are keeps on the main wig. To change that uh, to change that. So we have here the armature modifiers and we give them a duplication of it with the other rig. Mm, where are the teeth? The teeth are here. I write this for now. And also here. Duplicate, hide the rig and select the second rig. And now we are do the same as before. We are go to the part where the insect to eat gets cut it. And on this frame we are keyframe this that the grammar rig is enabled. And on the next frame, the other way around, that the second Qualoric is enabled. And now, the teeth and the tongue keeps on the upper body. So, and that's basically it if you want to make the mesh in any kind more interesting, you also can also modeling uh, slightly um, duplicate this for example extrude it get rid of the edge piece and with the flash it looks it has a little bit more volume like this I rewrote the scene so here on my reward scene, um, for example, yeah, you, you probably saw it. That's here are objects that appear. These are um, note effects that make these this blood blood splatters. <clears throat> and you can add particle, fluid simulation, or whatever you want. Here you also can see a bit of the insides. And the blood platters are from Christoph Didene. Link is in the description. You can also simply download the splatter effect from his gum road. So, and that's it with the tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you can... Make a good use of it for your own brutal splatter cutting animations or stuff. And yeah, we are see us in another video. Cheerio!